Well, one of the things about Pete, and, the, and again, if you people, Casey asked if you've seen him, um, Pete has been fishing the trips. So that's wow. that's something that you enjoy doing. And I think when you fish the trips, you got to have a little. Oh. If you walk around the show and you see all the fly fishing guys, they all got it's the, the stream look. It's, it's yeah. the stream It's the center pinner and the fly guy look. So, My good buddy Brett calls it the dude look. You're one of the dudes. It worked, but I, I felt compelled to get cleaned up for the show. Yeah, you look good. Thank you, you do look good. Thank you. Stop touching my leg. I'm nervous. <laughs> it's, 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 it's vibrating. Yeah. You know. So we got questions for Casey as well. Uh, you can drop them in the comments. Starting to get a few few more questions. But uh, we've been talking uh, Wilson. Oh. And that's the place we did some fishing last spring. And uh, you know, we've we've heard from, from Pete on the Wilson thing. Uh What's up with you? Well, what's your, your thoughts on the Wilson thing? I think it's going to be amazing. Um, I think it's going to be early this year. I really do. I wish I could get there sooner. Um, I'm going to be there from May 1st into second week of June. Um, but I think the Kings are going to be there mid-April, right on through all May. And uh, I really look forward to the second half of May beating up on the hose. Yeah. Those we cohos like coho are so fishing. yeah. Coho fishing so much fun. If you guys haven't done it, um, there one I heard Pete say he likes brown trout better. Eating? No Eating. way. Eating. Coho is so much better than brown trout. You're out of your mind. He's getting old, guys. Like I said, he's got the brownies in his neighborhood. Yeah, we all like the same thing. It'd be boring, Chris. Right? right. Oh That's yeah. Okay. 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 Pete. Think think that think that through. I thought about it. Yeah. You got it. I understand what you're saying. Yes. Right. Um, but no, I think it's gonna be a really amazing season there. Um, I'm excited to go there. I'm bringing three boats this year. I have a buddy of mine, Russell Gahagan, one of Pete's buddies, um, coming out there. And uh, I'm looking forward to really putting a beat down on the fish again this year, right alongside Pete. What it, what would you say your best three spoons are? It doesn't matter, morning, midday, or afternoon. Like, just if you had to pick three, in fact, why don't you do a morning, midday, and then I know you run the PM trips often. Yep. So give us your one, two, three lineup for morning. Midday and for kings for kings. Sorry, not co-hosts. Pete's got me running a chartel and a pertel, which I've done pretty good on last year. The mag size dreamweaver. Right? Dreamweaver. Yep. I am. Um, I am a stinger pro staff, and I do run a lot of stingers. Um, but I also run dream dreamweaver. I run moonshines. Uh, I'm going to tell you, in my business, I'm there to catch fish. So, if they're not biting something, and I need to run something else, I'm going to run it. I'm going to give you an honest report. That's what I'm running. So, um, I like a carbon 14 in the morning. Um, I like the NBK mag, um, stinger. There's green jean mag stinger that I like out there. Um, to be honest with you, I don't put many spoons in the water. I prefer meat out there. Uh, 10 rods, nine will have meat. Um, or as me and Pete like to call them studs. And, uh, that's how I like to fish the Kings and Wilson. All right. We're getting some questions and, uh, a lot of these are addressed to you, Pete, just because when they came in, you were the well, only they don't, one. They don't know Casey Prisco. So well, yeah, I think they'd be good to get. To it's, it's, I, it's, it's okay. I'm, I'm all right with that. <laughs> all right. So <laughs> David Staniszewski wants to know, uh, do you add scents to your spoons? And if so, what products? I, I use Mike's Atlas scents. Um, I, when the bite is good, I do not. You know, uh, when the bite's tough, I do have a tendency to, to pull, I call it the juice. Um and I will scent my, I'll, I'll scent my meat, my, you know, I'll add some uh, scent into the meat heads, and I will scent my spoons as well. Casey? Yeah, same thing, Atlas Mike's um, or Potsky. They both make some great scents. Um, I did see, I haven't used it yet, but I did smell it a few minutes ago. Soco Bates had a, a herring scent. Um, I don't necessarily do anything with my meat, but definitely on spoons um, or on flies. If I run them, I will put some scent on. Um, especially out there, it's a little dirtier water. So I think having that scent in the water can definitely trigger some more bites. All right, follow-up question, David. He says, uh, how fast do you troll with your flashers and flies for summer kings and why? Uh, uh, flasher flies. I'm a 2.4 to 2.8 flasher fly guy on average. On average. I changed the leader length of my fly to adjust to my meat program. Um so they're going to be a longer fly at a slower speed, 2-1 to 2-3. Um, late season when I get our staging kings, or late summer, I guess, when you get staging kings, sometimes I'll keep them shorter and go faster, 2-8, 2-7, 2-8, 2-9. Um, 
I think that's a loaded question, to be honest with you. The fish are going to tell you what speed they want it. And once you figure that speed out, duplicate it. And the only way to do that is with a fish hawk, Chris. All right. Yeah. So do what the fish tell you to do. Yeah. Yep. Listen replicate. to the fish. Don't listen to Pete. I have a question for him. All right. See, you remember this day on the boat? He, he, he made it for me one day this spring. So I got this shirt for him right here. That is so, true. That show up good. Pete's uh, Big John center rigger did kick my ass out there. Is that a bad word? Borderline. It's a little too late. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I apologize if I offended anybody with that word. Um, he runs Big John's, and they're sloppy. And, uh, you know, first of all, I didn't want to touch the thing. So it was, I was like, yeah, it's brutal. It's just brutal. Get a cannon, you know, get a real rigger. I like, I think Pete should hold that shirt up again. Hold it up. I, you know. It's pretty good size, Pete. I it's think. a two X. Yeah. It's a two X, and uh, that show up on the small. What does it say in the front? Oh, it has Vision the, Quest. Uh, I'm going to wear that all the time. <laughs> it has the Vision Quest. Leave no fish behind. Yep, motto. Well, I can yeah. tell you, he does that because I've been behind is, him and catching fish. So <laughs> that's buddy Casey. I, Pete, wear it's, it proud. it's an honor. I will. I will wear it proud. Make sure you take your vitamin C. I want to see you in May. <laughs> all right. So we got that out of the way gift no i think actually you've received all the gifts so no i want well, yeah no, you're getting the vitamin c i know earlier you're asking me his nickname right you're yeah. like what do they call this casey guy i said superman right it was a name i gave him so yeah. that's wild man right Why there is he superman so, how did he get that yes i, I um i'm getting my fly and my it. spoon back it's about time i got this for casey <laughs> so everybody can see this is it's a Superman doll. It's a Superman doll with an atomic fly. You know, his favorite fly, a friend of ours, Tom Allen. So we got that, and we have a Michigan Stingray, you know, and he's got the the pose going. And then I made him part of the Grey Goose fishing team right yeah. here at, on the back of the cape. I am honored, Pete. So, you know, we could, we could, why don't we leave that right there? You know, my birthday is not till May, but you have just gone above and beyond. Is there more? Well, yes. Oh, and my then, gosh. I'm so excited. Rumor had it you're bringing. A captain from the West this year. I am Russell Gahagan from uh, Salmon Candy. We'll be running one of my boats. Uh, he does a lot of salmon schools, and he's uh, going to come do some schooling so, on the water. So we're we're you know the dock guys and I got together and we said you know so we got we got Superman and then we got to have Captain America, which will be Russell. Okay, <laughs> this will be. Russell. I am loving this. So we got on the dock, and you know it's going to be my dock. So we got Captain America and. Uh, that is Superman perfect. running boats out of Wilson till the first part of June. I'm going to get some 4200 and I'm going to put them right on the pulpits of my boats. And as I troll by you with my limit, you can watch me going back to the port. It's okay. With my cape flying out. Okay. You have a six hour trip. That's why you're going back in, not because you have your limit, probably. No, that's okay. Bob, that's not true. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's because your time's up. No, that's not true either, Pete. Is you need to get on, on those vitamins. You're really getting delusional in your old age. I do no, I, I do appreciate the gifts. We we work together all spring. We we have a lot of fun as you can see. It's all in jest. Yeah. yeah. We do communicate a lot. Hundred percent. The communication goes like I leave a dock half hour early before him and it's like, Pete, are you on him yet? Where should I set up? That's how they communicate. Exactly how it goes. So there's so, two things in Wilson I've learned. One -way street. Look for Vision Quest boat. And if he's not steady scooping, you listen for the loudest boat out there. It's real excitement. And you go to that guy, Bob Songen. He's on him. Bobby you, boy. You know when he has a bite. Oh, yeah. You don't have to be nope. close to him to hear when he has a bite. Nope. Well, he has to yell like that because that boat has no exhaust. Oh. It's like straight pipes. That's why he's so loud. You know that, right? Yeah, I know. Yeah, his ears. Loud. His wife is so sweet. I met her today. She's Lisa. the quiet. Yes. Lisa. What a sweetheart. Quiet spoken. Mm -hmm. You know, she irons and steams every one of his shirts that he wears. It's, it's about balance. You got Bob. And you got Lisa. Well, that's what they it, say. A good marriage needs balance. And they have it. They've been married a long time. And she still loves them. She told me. Good team. I got her a nice shirt. And I thought maybe I had a way in. But she loves them. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. I knew this was going to be good. And I knew there would be very few questions needed for this segment. But uh, we've got some questions coming. Okay. Yeah. So let's, let's, what we got? Let's take some, do some Q&A here. Uh, Glenn says a question for Casey. Meatheads with the larger slots for herring, thinner slots for alewives, or just the shorter meat presentation? I don't run alewives. Um, it's it's all herring. Uh, I think um, the scent of the herring is something that I like. 
So that's what I run. I run king heads, I run diabolical heads, and I run reese heads. Um, I do think there's days that they pick in on a certain head with the roll uh, when it's tuned. So once again, fish are going to tell you what they want. If you have a rig out there and it keeps going, look at it. Is it a reese head? Is it a king head? Is it a diabolical head? Some days it doesn't matter. Some days it's easy fishing. You know, fish make you look good, but other days you need to pay attention to that. So I would say, you know, I definitely have all three types of heads on the boat. All right. No herring or no lives. We just uh, mentioned Russell. So Jim wants to know if Russell makes you uh, wash the spoons with dish soap. <laughs> no. Um, speaking of Russell, so I had to explain to him last year what a rod holder was because apparently they don't use them in Wisconsin. So Well, they make them out of wood. I don't know what they make them out there. but So he brought a new guy this year, and that was the first thing the kid asked. He goes, is, is Casey going to yell at me for not using a rod holder? Yes. Yes, I am. They're Canon dual access, not Big John. Canon dual access rod holders, and they're amazing. Put your rods in them. All right. That, so, that was... Uh, that did generate a lot of complaints on the dock is when he'd get back in after fishing with Russell. Yeah. The first BITC was, I can't believe Russell lays rods all over my boat. When yeah. He just lays them on the road. Yeah. Who does that? You know, I and said, you think, I, I don't know, but he, it's after, your guy. Yeah. So work it out. With I did. It's your guy. After he's, a week okay. of it, you think it'd be good? Well, no. Two he's, weeks later, yeah, Facebook yeah. post, I look at he's back in Wisconsin, two rods crisscross in the back with people on the boat. He's better this year, though. I sent him a cannon dual axis rod holder a couple weeks ago. I can't hurt. Like, obviously, you talking to him didn't Well, no, he, I sent him a dual axis rod holder a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Every night we do a little rod training. Rod and rod in the rod yep. holder training. He's down to like 13 seconds. He can get the rod in and out and back in. I don't want to hear complaints on Doc. There will be no complaints about Russell. Okay. Not about that. His anyway. name is. Oh, Russell the Love Muscle. No, 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 no. no. Oh, look, at, he already missed this. Oh, sorry. Captain America. That's Captain America, please. Oh, I thought, is, yeah, yeah. I thought you were talking awesome. about his prior prior, prior uh, job. Before he made tackle, he was in porn. No, we're moving forward. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yep. I had a feeling this was going to go off the rails, and it, and it has. I haven't swore yet. You haven't? I'm doing good. No, you said ass. That's not a bad word. You're right. All right. Can I? So, I do we have time still? Yeah, we got time. Serious question. Uh, you're like in this full bore. No, I, give, I call you Superman because you're... you're you're i had to look these words up yep oh wow i call it a combination of hyperactive and ocd so it's like that combined that's about which, right. which, which is why i call you superman you run a lot of doubles which they're tiring i hate doing doubles like i don't do many of them well you're old yeah that too yeah you're old but i never do like them right even though well you're old but so he called you superman because you, you got a lot of energy hyperactivity ocd all, all that mixed into him mm -hmm. so that's the superman so the question is the the serious question like the future like you're full bore in this three boats gung-ho and i actually think it's impressive so what what's the next 10 years do for casey what's what's that look like to be honest with you i never thought i'd be where i'm at right now honestly i, I picked up a fourth boat um i don't think i want to go more than four boats we did about well, we did a lot of charters last year. I don't have to mention numbers, but we did a lot of charters. I think I, this year I can do a few more. Um, realistically, I'd like to to uh, maybe have another five to five years of this and go to Costa Rica. Five years are good, though? I think so. You're going to be our dock buddy for five more years? Maybe. I don't know if we're buddies. Let's not go that far, Pete. We're friends. Yeah, yeah. I like friends. There's a difference between friends and buddies. Like Buddies like a big commitment, and I'm not ready to make that with you. You, Not yet. Let me have a few drinks. We can talk about it. You know, I really don't know what you're bringing to the table for me anymore. You're getting old. The yep. big John Riggers. I seen the planer reels that you use. Oh, wait, they're not reels. We're Tierra guys. We don't. Oh, operate yeah. Tierra. That way. You know, right. We I don't will, operate that way. Yeah. yeah. We don't operate. I, brothers. I'm gonna get we are technically brothers. I might buy you big John brothers Otter boats so you can actually have talk to each other about, all right. about our boat our equipment. Right. Well, I'm We're just both Shimano guys. Yeah. So everything on boats on Pete's boats. Amazing. Besides his planer boards and reels. I'm working on him though. He's a work in progress. We're gonna get there, you know. I have to give him something to pick on me about. Right. Uh, yeah, yeah. It, and it is. Uh, I ran into both of these guys on the dock at Wilson last spring. Uh, I think we were gonna go out the next day, so I just happened to kind of hang out, and and it was it was just like this for an hour in the back of each other's boats, and 
some poor devil had a boat between the two of you and Hank. God only knows what ended up on that guy's boat with you guys throwing stuff at each other. Nothing. I can promise Pete. <laughs> Not Hank's boat. Nothing. Nothing. That's, a, that's a no-go zone. No. That's the that's cleanest Hank's here on Lake Ontario. Them. Best maintained. And Hank, is a, he's a hell of a guy. We, he really is. We don't go over Hank's boat. We go around Hank's yep. boat. Rule number one. Yep. <laughs> Hank is a great guy. He came out with us for a day. We yes, he did. Very smart. Very very smart guy. Great fisherman. He so. is. He absolutely he, is. He is the cleanest boat in the harbor. He's well, most boat. well maintained. But uh, good guy. Good yeah. captain. Yeah. Sure. Well, we already had, you got to pull out your list. I'm sure Casey has a list. Um, somebody just asked, uh, name your top 12 flies for Summer Kings Ooh. from Atomic that work best for you. I, don't, I can give you 12 flies. What I can tell you is if you go on Atomic's website, he has an actual package already put together. Let me give Atomic a plug here. It's called Dirty Goose's Picks. I believe there's 12 flies in there that he's packaged together to give them to you at a good price. Um, it comes in a nice little container. Um, in that package will be Ultra Green Glows, Mirage, UV-190, Live Line Mirage, Shredded Hammer, Pro Ams, B Flies, Stud Fly, Sweet Pea, TG, I believe. Um, I made the video. That's you know what that fly is, Peter? Yep. Okay. You just named it. Yep. Um, I made the video for the flies probably two years ago or three years ago during COVID, and Tom actually went and made it. Um, So if you go on Atomic's website, he has it on there for you guys to uh, purchase. Question Is that. I know it's like a universal fly package. Is that primarily east end, west end? It, everywhere. Everywhere. That's the it's flies you need. That's the flies universal. you need for Lake Ontario. Okay. Granted, there's some variations, guys. There's some live series. There's some uh, shredded series. There's glows. There's UVs. But those are your colors primarily that I'm using and a lot of guys that I know use and are very successful with. All right, Jim asks, uh, he'd love to get into some browns west of the river and that's something that, that you do in your home port uh yep. your last guy what well, west of what river i don't know this is west There's of a lot of rivers jim the river how about what he's asking for is tips on browns you got any advice for sure this is what time fishing? uh early season i would say look for colored water uh the warmest water you can find in colored water stinger spoons um stick baits regular size Same. yeah regular size stinger spoons um Later in the season, you're going to look for temperature and bait, you know, and, and work from there. But early season, if you find any type of water that's coming in, most times you're going to have some color there, and that's going to trigger the browns to, you know, a bite, and it'll be a little bit warmer. Awesome. Well, we got Casey coming back tomorrow night. Casey will be hosting. Uh, he'll be in Pete's chair tomorrow night at uh-huh. five o'clock. And we'll be bringing you back on the show as well really? tomorrow night. So I, I didn't know that. We'll just be. Uh, I told you he's I old, guys. Another example how old he is. Yesterday he was told less than 24 hours. Old boy here forgot already. So it's okay. It's okay. So we'll do this all over again tomorrow night. I'm uh, going to walk him to his hotel room tonight so he gets it there safe, Mrs. Alex, just so you know, so you don't have to worry about your husband while he's away. <laughs> he is getting old. So, I mean, truth be known, he might have actually had like a little trail shaved into his forehead that he could follow with his finger because some of the guys do that in their haircuts. Pete might have that going on underneath his hat. To find your way home. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Easy, ah, he easy, does. Easy, I told easy, you he does. He's got something underneath that hat. Easy. And he's going bald. It's, Old guy. It's my cheat sheet. Oh, wow. You didn't cut the top. You just cut the sides? It, it's, what the hell? It's valued real estate. I think they call that the clown cut where I come from. It's Look val- at that. It's valued real, real estate. Valued real estate. Valued real estate. Just take it off. Bald sexy, that's they I, say. That's what I told the beautician. Easy, well, easy on the top. Well, that, they didn't touch the top, apparently. Easy. They just didn't touch it. Did you pay for that haircut? And that, I gave, he stuttered. He didn't pay. Pete's really cheap. <laughs> no, I took care of her. I took care of her. Too. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. I hope you didn't pay more than ten dollars for that. Good lord. All right. That was if any, hey, if anybody story. knows, we're gonna be back tomorrow. But if anyone has a good, were you from Erie? If anyone knows a good hairstylist in Erie, please drop it in the in the comments. We can get Pete there because he needs it. It's bad. I don't know if you can see it with the camera, but that is horrible. Jesus. All right. Casey Briscoe, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for having we'll me, guys. Tomorrow. He's going to co-host we'll tomorrow. See, we'll see you, Chris. We'll- <laughs> Bye, Pete. <laughs>